So in this video, I want to show you how you can record the screen using Camtasia 9. To do that, I have started up Camtasia and because I've got it showing this welcome screen on launch, I do actually see an option here to click on new recording. But I'm going to show you how to do this as well, which will give you the same result if we just had a project open. So I'm just going to open a project here. And when it loads, so it's now actually loading Camtasia. So to speed things up, I cut out all the loading of things. You were just seeing the basic startup of loading all the plugins there, which I've removed. But anyway, here I am. It looks different to the previous version of Camtasia. And at this point, it's pretty much the same now as what you get on the Mac version. But what is different is the record screen. So what I'm going to do is up in the top left here, you'll see that it's got a record button. And when I click on that, and here it is. Here is the little panel for recording the screen. And basically it's the same as the previous version with a just a ever so slightly different look. So I could, if I wanted to, select the full screen, if I click on that, and you'll see it's got this dashed line going around showing you what it's going to record. I could choose a custom area, I could just click on that, I could type in the size of the screen, so if I wanted it 1200 by say 600, and you see it's moving things around to accommodate, and you can see the dashed line around there. It also has some presets, so if I click on that I can choose 720p, which is kind of like HD, you've got standard definition, you've got different uh, aspect ratios with 4x3, this one was 16x9, so that's widescreen, that's standard size screen, it's got recent areas, or I could just select area to record and I can just highlight that, and then just click and drag the area I want and that has done it. I often just go for the full screen because I can often zoom in afterwards. However, if you've got a lot of fine detail and it's just in a particular window, you may just want to select that area. I haven't switched the camera on. I could, I've got a camera built in here, so I could actually just click to switch it on. It's going to initialize the camera and there I am. And I could also choose if there were other cameras the different options. I don't have other cameras plugged in, but you could do that. I'm going to turn the camera, I'm going to actually, I'm going to leave the camera on. I've got the audio on as well, and my options for that again are in this drop down. I've got it to record the system audio. Now, the first time you choose that, it may ask you to install something. If you say yes, it will just go away and do that very quickly for you. So there are the microphones. I don't have any others plugged in. This is just using the one built into the computer. When I'm ready to go, I just click on record. So now I get a countdown and once that stops, I can then open something such as Excel and I can then start doing some things in here to demonstrate using this software. So there's just a bit of autofill there just uh, typing something in. So if I do that really quickly, we can see what it is. And I just, let's just highlight that. Let's just do that as bold. And over here, when that wheel stops spinning, and let's just do that top row there as italic, and let's do that as bold as well. Okay, so I have now finished with my recording and what I'm going to do is just come down to here, click on Camtasia and I can just press stop. Now, if I wasn't happy with it, I could press delete and it will ask me to delete it and I get a chance to start over. If I want, I can just pause it. You might be interrupted or you're thinking about something so you can, or maybe the computer is taking its time. You've got the spinning wheel or something. so. That could also be a good reason to stop there. So I'm just going to press stop because when I do, it's going to create my file. It's going to put it back into Camtasia and I'm going to see it here any moment now in my timeline. Just click on that and there it is. So there's the file. There is the timeline with my camera here and also my 
screen down the bottom and you can see it's got these little waves here indicating where the volume is going up and down. And in the next video I'm going to show you how to save your project before we then move on to editing and importing other things like video, audio and images.